the production system here in Nebraska for soybeans is, is really excellent. We're the fourth largest producing state for soybeans in, in the United States. And we have a, a great network from the farmer to the transportation system to the processors. I mean, the, the soybeans that we grow here are processed here and turned into soybean meal. Fed, feed that meal to, uh, to the livestock, to the pork, and, and then export the finished product, the value added product when we're done. The main market for Nebraska pork is Japan, and they have been long-term customers. Uh, the Japanese are known for their relationships and how they like to have, know the people they're doing business with. Not only do, do we have export uh, market missions to Japan, but we also entertain those consumers and those buyers into our state of Nebraska, show them the work and the care that takes place here in the state by those ranchers and farmers and, and really their passion. I mean, the, the great selling point is to have a rancher or a producer uh, that, that really loves what he's doing and, or she's doing and distributes that message and shares that message and what they, what they do for a livelihood and how they care for their livestock for the end consumer. My name is Terry O'Neill. I'm a pork producer from Friend, Nebraska. We have a 600 sow farrow to finish operation here. We also have 700 acres of corn and soybeans. We have a product and a soy product that we use for a protein source for our pigs. And I believe over half the soybeans that are produced in the United States go into feeding either chickens or pork or beef. We've used our grains and actually bought more grain from the farmers to walk the, the grain off the farm and, and create value added for those grain products. We are actually in expansion mode in the meat industry, whether it be beef, uh, chicken, or pork. We've grown 4% last year. We're on track to grow another 4%. And this pork is not gonna be consumed domestically. We're seeing in the global market that people are having better economies. And when their economies improve, when people's uh, pocketbooks improve, what's the first thing they do? They improve their diets. And meat protein is one of the first things they go to. They move away from more of a plant-based and to where they can afford a meat-based diet. So we want to be there in the United States, meat production industry and pork production industry to provide those needs. Consumers overseas, I believe, look to the United States products as being safe and secure in a stable marketplace and something that the consumers can count on. We export a lot on our farm, goes to Smithfield and goes to Japan in a fresh market. So that's critically important for me as a producer in my bottom line and my success story that we have those exports. 95% of the world's population lives outside of the United States. So being able to access those markets, serve those markets with a product that, that, is, that is asked for creates opportunities here in Nebraska for the next generation to come to our family farms, expand the operation that they have, and, and just really just build on what multi-generations have been working on, but uh, create more opportunities and, and grow Nebraska, grow Nebraska agriculture, and grow Nebraska families.